Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Alexi and this is Sototech. Around 5-6 weeks ago, I was planning to switch from my all-time favorite phone, the Galaxy Note 9, back to the S23 Ultra, but I decided to put my SIM card in the S22 Ultra and use it as my main phone for a while again to test once again things like its performance, cameras, and especially battery life, mainly because I still see people trashing its battery life even more now than the S23 Ultra with its amazing battery life exists. Well, in this video, I want to express my opinion about this phone and why it is the S23 Ultra main alternative and why you should consider it. Yes, the S23 Ultra is for me the best all-around phone in the market so far, but it is still incredibly expensive, exactly like this phone was when it was released last year, and the same with the S21 Ultra the year before. The good thing is that this phone being just a year and a half old, it has aged incredibly well, and you will find 85, 90, percent of the experience you will find on the S23 Ultra for even half the cost. I'm talking about buying from trusted sources, basically brand new. Even in some places you can find it brand new like 400-500 cheaper than the S23 Ultra. This phone has an amazing screen like the S23 Ultra. Very bright, excellent colors and very good for content consumption. Performance is still very good. You can throw at it basically anything without being really concerned about the phone getting overheated and have some issues. Of course, the exception could be when playing high graphic games for an extensive period of time, which is the case for most phones, including all the high-end phones. Yes, it will get worn and suffer from some stutters every now and then, but this is not a gaming phone after all. However, for the most part, performance, in my experience, has been excellent. Build quality is still according to the current industry standards. Made of glass bag with aluminum frames for that so-called premium feeling I still don't buy, I still much prefer that nice vegan leather I've seen in some phones recently. It is IPA68 watt and dust resistant. It has wireless and reverse wireless charging, which are industry leading features. It also has very good stereo sound, according to my ears. I've seen others saying that the stereo sound is not good. I don't agree with that, but that's my opinion. Yes, it's not the best one, but it's not bad either. Another key feature, which is unique in all of Samsung's top end phones like this one, it is the amazing S Pen. On the S22 Ultra, it has the same exact functionality that on the S23 Ultra, so no loss here. It has exactly the same remote control functionalities and the same latency. Now, let's talk about the battery life because, like I said before, this is another area I've seen this phone being trashed by a lot of people. Let's put it this way. Yes, it's not as good as on the S23 Ultra, but based on my own experience and usage, it's been fine. I've managed to have over seven hours of a screen on time, which means I could make it through the whole day with heavy moderate usage. Now, when it was released last year and it was equally super expensive as the S23 Ultra is now, the expectations and disappointment with the battery life maybe were somehow justified. I guess because of people were expecting it to match that of the iPhone 13 Pro Max. However, at its current price, I can easily give it a pass and adjust the expectations accordingly. Once again, the battery life on this phone is not bad. Just because it's not as good as on other phones doesn't mean it is bad. Another thing why this phone is an excellent buy now, the cameras. The cameras on this phone are still one of the best in the market. 
Based on my own comparisons, the results can be equally good and sometimes a slightly better than on the S23 Ultra, to be honest. It is a shame it doesn't have the 4K portrait video of the S23 Ultra. Also, no two times portrait pictures that Samsung recently added on the S23 Ultra and I'm still hoping Samsung will bring on the S22 Ultra too, but with Samsung, you never know, sadly. In a nutshell, do I recommend this phone? Absolutely yes. This phone is still amazing, still one of the best in the market right now, and at the current price you can get it now, especially second hand, in very good conditions from trusted sources. It is a no-brainer. If you want an excellent phone with good performance, great cameras, and the same Samsung's experience as on its more expensive sibling, but you don't want to shell a massive amount of money, you won't be disappointed at all. But that's my personal opinion. What do you think? I'd like to know your opinion. Okay, this was my quick take on the Galaxy S22 Ultra. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, help the channel, like and subscribe if you haven't yet. I'd really appreciate it. See you in the next one. Hasta la vista.